Uh, thank you, Ms. Wiley. Appreciate it. Um, for those of y'all who know me, uh, my name is Brandon Burkhart. I am the Vice President of This is Texas Freedom Force. Let me get this up here a little bit higher. All right, let's have me a little bit. So I wanted to go over a few things with you guys. Uh, first of all, um, the Cenotaph is directly linked uh, to what's going on in the bigger picture, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So. Let me go ahead and start on this. Um, uh, part of this is Texas Freedom Force. We are here to save the Alamo Cenotaph and to keep fighting for where it is today. To fight against the desecration of the Alamo and to save San Antonio from ruin. We take our job pretty seriously because our job is protectors of all things Texas. Uh, San Antonio is rich in Texas history from the Alamo, San Jose Mission, San Fernando Cathedral, La Vieta Historic Village, and much, much more. I'll say it again, San Antonio is rich in Texas history. The land commissioner and the endowment board directors and San Antonio City Council want you to believe that they're changing, they're not going to change history, or they're not gonna do away with the Alamo, and they just wanna add a more enlightened view to show the whole story and be inclusive. It's just another lie. Yeah. Moving the Alamo Cenotaph, re uh, revising the history of the Alamo, removing Travis Park Monument, moving businesses and buildings, renaming historical sites and schools, these are all part of a bigger plan. And if our, your representatives have to lie and hide, signing contracts before the city council has even voted on it, holding secret backdoor meetings, there is nothing honorable about their motives and the people of San Antonio will lose. The people of Texas will lose as long as these people are staying in office. It's time that we take a step back and look at the bigger picture. This isn't going to be the last battle. This isn't going to be the last monument they go after. This isn't even the last historical remnant that will be enlightened, quote unquote, because we're at war, Texas. Uh, Texas is under siege by tyrants who want, who want it their way while they uh, rush out over the people in the state to Texas. How? By removing each and every reason that Texans love Texas shadowing the honor and the integrity of the truly great men and women who forged the greatest state in, the, in America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> By trying to deflate the pride and conservative values that we hold in exchange for a more enlightenment and inclusivity, don't believe that for a second. That's not exactly what they want. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have any doubt about the bigger strategy, watch your city council in action. Review the video from the August 9th San Antonio City Council meeting about the uh, Equality Initiative pilot for the next three year strategy that they have for San Antonio. Uh, it, once you look at that, it'll open up your mind to the bigger picture of what's going on and what they would like to do to our city and to our Texas history, which is absolutely ludicrous. That's right. And we don't need to be enlightened about the Alamo because we're Texans. And we cannot and we will not allow the vandalism of our voices any longer. This is Texas Freedom Force is about to start the battle to take Trevino and City Council and hold them responsible for their lies and their corruptions. We will stop their liberal march and we will be and they will be held accountable for their actions and to the people of San Antonio and Texas. We're filing a recall petition to remove uh, District 1 City Councilman Roberto Trevino. <laughs> and District 2 City Councilman and Cruz Shaw. Yeah. You guys are going to see us out and about in force over the next several months gathering signatures and support. We need each and every one of y'all to stand with us on this. Less than 7% registered voters voted last the last election in San Antonio. I'll say that again. Less than 7% of the registered voters voted in San Antonio. That has to change. We need to talk to our neighbors, our family, our friends, and get them registered to vote so that we can put a stop to the desecration of our Texas history because the only way that they're going to hear us is if we take it to them, take the battle to them. You know, that there's, you know, the saying that is no surrender, no retreat. Remember the Alamo. It's time that we answer that call once again. It's time that we plant our boots in the ground and say enough is enough. Leave our history alone. Yeah.